We're going to start off the Extreme Rules predictions with the pre-show match, and that means the WLC match between El Torito and Hornswoggle. If you checked out the predictions post on Smartout Moment, you would see the entirety of this is just, ugh, and that is it. <laughs> I have no faith in this match. Uh, other people here have more uh, optimistic points of view for it, but I think this is going to be a total train wreck, and uh, I really don't know what else to say. But I will think it's kind of funny that if they bring out mini ladders and mini chairs and mini tables, maybe uh, they can put them to good use, and it can be kind of funny. But, man, I've... Uh, I've seen too much of both these guys to ever trust that it's going to be anything other than bad. Um, El Torito wins. Because why not? Payton? I think this could actually be a sleeper. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say it. Uh, I, well, you at least got to give him a small chance to do that. I mean, <laughs> I I think this is unique. It's something we haven't seen in a while. Um, you know, the minis have come in and out of wrestling were once a very integral part. I mean, before there was really cruiser weights, before there was even like women heavily in it, they had uh, <clears throat> they had midgets. Let's not forget that wrestling is something that started in the world of carnies and circus freaks. So it's not a uh, it's not out of its world to have midgets wrestle so i think everyone is just being unfairly cruel and closed-minded to it and i think we should give these guys a chance because el torito shit is probably one of the most talented guys in the entire roster some of the tricks that you see him pull off and hornswoggle's been apparently uh working out and i kind of dig him being part of the three-man band or the three and a half man band or whatever they're <laughs> calling them these days so uh, i'll give it a shot you know if, if they bomb I'll, I'll say i was wrong and they could give you know Say they tried and dropped this whole thing, but if it goes okay, I can enjoy a couple more matches out of these guys as long as they're actual matches and not just quick tag, mixed tag matches on Raw like they've been doing. That that's been getting annoying. But so we'll who, see what this one. Is. Who are you going with, Torito or Dylan? I think it's tough. I think Torito, Torito, Dirt Elder. What the fuck is his name? Dorito? El Doritos. <laughs> El Dorado, El Dorito. El Dorito. The, the bull. I think the bull may win if they plan on continuing with this, but I think at some point Hornswoggle's got to get a big win in this because he's got a movie coming out later this year. Jester, what do you think about this match? All right, first I need to know, is it like mini tables and stuff? Like small or like there are mini tables and mini ladders and mini chairs? Like there are a lot of them. Mini. Is it like M-I-N-I. lots? Or small. Small. Okay. Like the people. Got it. All right. <laughs> well, I, I'm i going to go out on a limb and say that, first of all, if this was like an actual ladder match, no one would win because they couldn't reach anything. <laughs> but I'm going to go out on a limb and say that 3MB's winning streak continues and Hornswoggle wins. Drew. And it'll be awesome and, and funny. Well, hello, everyone. There's only one word to say about this match. Ole! Why'd you make a voice? I didn't make a voice, I just said it. <laughs> so you're going with El Torito? No, I'm going to go with Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just really excited for this. Uh, I, yeah, but listen, listen, it's like this. I This sounds stupid on like so many different levels, but honestly, I this is, might be the most excited thing I am looking forward to. <laughs> This pay per view, and it's and it's probably going to end up being stupid. And wait, Mango, you said that this was on the pre-show, right? Right. And if it doesn't end up bombing, at least you can say, "Hey, it was on the pre-show." You know, you don't you're not supposed to really expect too much out of the pre-show unless it's like a tag team match with uh, the Usos or something like that. So you know, it, I think this is going to be the most exciting thing that will happen on the card. Say, I'm going to go with Dylan because Dylan is the man. Five star classic for um, two and a half stars because they're many. <laughs> Miguel, you know what? I'm I'm gonna say it right now. This this matchup could be a train wreck, but it could be a fun train wreck. I mean, one of my favorite matches is the um, Fish Market Street Fight from TNA, the uh, which is the Dudley Dudley's that, versus the TNA. Do you just vomit? <laughs> yeah, no, he he came. It, he he loves TNA as much as I do. Um, <laughs> But um, yeah, I, you know that I I I can appreciate a good train wreck matchup if it's entertaining, and this one has the potential to really go the distance. I mean, these guys clearly know the kind of feud that they're having, so 
they, I think they're going to embrace that. Uh, I'm going to go with Torito winning, but I will say this. I am crossing my fingers for a big fall four table spot because we always get one of those in a TLC matchup. I wonder if think they about can it. pull that off. Think, think about it, man. Hornswoggle going through four stacked mini tables. <laughs> that would be pretty fun to watch. They end up just normal. being the same height as a normal table. <laughs> Who are you going with, uh, Torito or Hornswoggle? I'm going with Torito. All right, I, think wait. Th- I think they see more f- of a future in Torito than they do in Dylan. Not that I don't like Dylan. I think he's really won me over with this three-and-a-half-man band gimmick. Way go. I think the best thing is that we're all actually just calling him Dylan and it's just stuck like normal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to expect from this match, but I'm going to give it a chance just because... As much as I thought this whole thing's been stupid, part of me kind of enjoyed it. So I'll give it a chance, and I'm going to go with El Torito. Hmm. All right, so real quick, go around again. I'm going with El Torito. Payton, who are you going with? Uh, I'm going to go with Dylan. Dylan Jester? Uh, Dylan Swoggle. Drew? The D-Man. Miguel? Torito. And Wego? Torito. Three to three. Tell us what you guys think is going to end up happening in the comments below. We're going to roll along here. Part five with uh, Alexander Rusev against R-Truth and Xavier Woods.